It is time of year for New Center Maine's annual Coach Fruit and Toys for Kids campaign. Thanks to the generosity of Mainers, as always, we have seen more than 1,000 donations already, but they do look a little bit different than in years past. Our Chloe Tebow joining us this morning to talk about how you guys can give back even with the challenges brought on by COVID-19. Good morning, Chloe. Hi, Lee. Good morning. Yeah, this is New Center Maine's 38th Coats and Toys for Kids campaign, but this year there are no drop offs at local grocery stores. Instead, like so many other things during the coronavirus pandemic, donations are happening virtually. So viewers can head to our website to find the Coats and Toys for Kids wish list. It includes all new items to make sure everyone stays healthy. As most people know in the past, we've collected older items and you're seeing some of that video now. This year, each item will be sent to one of nine Salvation Army facilities to be distributed. And when volunteers are delivering coats and toys, they have to take precautions by sanitizing everything and cleaning the cars they're using. Salvation Army leaders say they've seen a much greater need this year in general because of the pandemic with people losing jobs and living on fixed incomes. They say there's been about a 10% increase in demand since March. That's why donations this year especially mean a lot. Going on in this world, um, it just does does our heart good to to know that number one, there's people who care, um, who reach out. It doesn't matter really what organization it is, but that it's meeting a need and um, people that don't have a lot of money are still trying their best to help others. And last year, the Salvation Army gave away around 18,000 coats, and they're hoping to match that number this year. You can find out more about how and what to donate on our website and mobile app. And deliveries have already begun to help kids keep kids warm as soon as possible. Live in studio this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.